Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into Clover Retribution and ranking something that can totally make or break your gameplay. Traits. These are the buffs that can give you that extra edge in battle. But with so many different traits to choose from, it can get a little overwhelming, right? No worries though, because I'm here to help you figure out which traits are worth spinning for and which ones you might want to skip. Now, you can only spin one trait, so knowing which ones are top tier and how they synergize with your build is key to dominating the game. We're going to break down the best combos, talk about the skills that pair perfectly with these traits, and rank them from the absolute must-haves to the maybe not category. So grab your snacks, sit back, and let's get into this tier list that's going to change your Clover Retribution game forever. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking traits in the Clover Retribution. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. A very small portion of the audience is subscribed to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks. The traits in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right, Superior Speed, Gaia's Blessing, Mystic Savant, Lyrical Surge, and Average. Alright, let's dive into some of the more, ahem, unique characters you might encounter in Seven Deadly Sins Idol. You know, the ones that make you wonder if they're worth the effort or if you'd rather just toss them aside. We're talking D tier, folks, the characters that might need a little more love from the developers to be really viable. First up, we've got Superior Speed, which, as the name suggests, gives you a little extra pep in your step with a plus 5 speed boost. Sounds good on paper, but in practice, meh, it's like putting a turbo sticker on your car and hoping it'll actually go faster. Then there's Mystic Savant, which is supposed to help you save mana. Great, right? Except it comes with no real damage buff, so it's kind of like saving up for a rainy day, but realizing you still can't afford an umbrella. And don't even get me started on Lyrical Surge. Every 70 seconds, you get a tiny 5% damage boost and damage reduction for your party. It's like the game throws you a tiny little bone and then snatches it back before you even get to taste it. Finally, there's Average. No buffs, no debuffs, just pure mediocrity. It's like getting a plain vanilla ice cream cone when you were really hoping for some sprinkles and a cherry on top. The traits in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Tenacity Scholar, Finesse Master, Fighter, and Arcane Adept. Alright, so let's dive into some of the C tier characters in Seven Deadly Sins Idol. And trust me, this tier is like playing with fire, literally. First up, we have Tenacity. It gives you a 20% damage reduction when you're under 30% HP. Sounds nice, right? But here's the kicker. When you're already down to 30% HP, that tiny reduction is like putting a band-aid on a broken bone. You're still in a danger zone and it's not enough to keep you from getting wiped out. It's like bringing a plastic spoon to a sword fight, just not gonna cut it. Now let's talk about some of the other C tier abilities that might seem tempting but don't really pack a punch. Take Arcane Adept. A 10% reduction in mana consumption sounds cool until you realize there's no actual boost to your damage. It's like getting a discount on your groceries but finding out they forgot to put any food in the bag. Then there's Scholar with plus 5 intelligence and Finesse Master giving plus 2 dexterity. Not exactly game changers. And don't even get me started on Fighter, plus 2 strength and plus 2 constitution might help a little but it's like bringing a water gun to a fire breathing dragon fight. You might get a few hits in, but don't expect to be winning any battles with these abilities alone. The traits in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right, Noble Boss Slayer, Arcane Zenith and Mana Rampage. Alright, let's dive into the B tier characters of Seven Deadly Sins Idol and see what makes them tick. First up, we've got Noble. This trait gives you a cool plus 25% mana boost. It's not a game changer, but it's pretty handy for keeping your mana levels up during those longer battles. It won't make you a top contender, but it'll keep your mana from running out too quickly. Next, we've got Boss Slayer. This trait is a bit of a mixed bag. On one hand, it increases your damage by 20% against bosses and elites, which is great for those big tough enemies. On the other hand, it adds a 30% cooldown to your dash, meaning you'll be dashing less often. 
If you're all about boss grinding and need a bit more mobility, this trait could be a game changer, though the cooldown might take some getting used to. Then there's Arcane Zenith, which cuts your mana consumption by 30%. This is a solid trait if you're struggling with mana, but honestly, there are better options out there. And finally, we have Mana Rampage, which boosts your magic damage by 16%, but also increases your mana consumption by the same amount. The extra damage is nice, but the higher mana cost can really mess with your combos and overall effectiveness. So if you're looking to tweak your setup, these B tier traits can add some value, but don't expect them to catapult you to the top. The traits in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right, Monstrous Reserves and Power of Friendship. Alright, let's dive into the A tier traits of the 7 Deadly Sins idle game, starting with Monstrous Reserves. This trait is fantastic because it gives you an extra 50% mana, making it a game changer for casting powerful spells and abilities more frequently. It's like having an endless supply of energy to keep those devastating attacks coming and really turning the tide of battle in your favor. Now, let's talk about the Power of Friendship. This trait is super cool because every 2 minutes it activates and grants you some awesome buffs. Plus 15% strength, plus 15% dexterity, plus 5% damage to all, and plus 5% defense from all sources. The only catch is that if your opponent can take you down within those 2 minutes, the trait won't trigger. But if you can survive, these buffs can seriously boost your performance. So it's all about surviving those crucial moments and using the buffs to your advantage. The traits in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Mystical Eyes, Heavenly Restricted and Loved by Mana. Alright, let's dive into the S tier characters from 7 Deadly Sins Idol. First up, we've got Mystical Eyes. This one's a game changer with plus 8 dex, plus 8 STR and plus 8 int. Plus, it boosts your maximum mana by 10% and overall damage by another 10%. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Mystical Eyes also deals weak spot stacks that inflict 15% of total damage with every 5 stacks. It's basically a powerhouse that works wonders with any build making it super versatile and effective. Next on the list is Heavenly Restricted. Now this trait is a bit of a mixed bag with a hefty minus 80% mana reduction, but it makes up for it with a plus 5 strength, plus 10 dexterity and plus 10 constitution boost. On top of that you get a whopping plus 50% to bludgeoning, slashing and piercing damage. This trait's insane buffs mean it's a fantastic pick for a wide range of builds, letting you hit hard no matter what you're aiming for. Lastly, we've got Loved by Mana, which gives you a sweet plus 250 mana and even adds a cool cosmetic aura. It's perfect if you want that extra mana boost and a bit of flair. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe 